Hello everyone, I'm Tom Crow, and in today's tutorial for Crossplays, we're going to demonstrate the Java Applet attack. The Java, the Java Applet attack considers as one of the most successful and popular methods uh, for compromising a system. Popular because we can create an infected Java Applet very easily. We can clone any site we want that will load the Applet very fast and successful because it affects all the platforms. Uh, the only difficulty is how to deliver the Java applet properly in order to trick our victims. Uh, this attack could be used in engagements that uh, our, task th our tasks is to use uh, social engineer techniques against our clients. Um, so for this tutorial we are going to need only a PC with Kali Linux and of course a victim. We're going to use the set tool or social engineering toolkit and uh, the metasploit. Uh, the Java applet attack vector affects Windows, Linux and uh, Mac OS X uh, systems. Um, <coughs> so in this tutorial we will see how we can generate an infected Java applet in order to, in order to obtain a cell from the remote machine. To start, we open a terminal and we head to the set uh, uh, folder. So cd slash uh, usr slash uh, share slash set enter and now dot slash set to start the toolkit. We can enter in this. Uh, we hit Y in the terms of service uh, for the first time we open the tool. And now this is the social engineering toolkit in, the, in its final revision. Uh, if you want we can update the set, but I'm already updated. Uh, so, first of all we select the social engineering attacks. We hit one and enter. And then the website attack vectors. So the second choice and enter. And as we said earlier, uh, the Java applet attack method we selected. As you see here, it says the Java applet attack method will spoof uh, Java certificate and deliver a Metasploit based payload. Uh, uses a customized Java applet created by Thomas Worth to deliver the payload. So we select one and enter. And we are going to use the site cloner to clone uh, a preferred site and deliver the Java applet. So, do here, enter. And we are not using a NAT port forwarding because we are doing the attack uh, this time in the local network and not in the worldwide. If we want to, uh, to do uh, this attack in the worldwide network, we are just. Uh, uh, put a port forwarding in our local IP address. Just search it in Google. It is very easy. And now it uh, asks us for the IP address or, or host name for the reverse connection. We are going to host this uh, cloned website in our local IP address. So we hit in a new terminal if config and if zero is the uh, interface that we are connected to the internet, so this is our local IP address. We copy it and we paste it here. So, enter. And now the URL to clone. We can clone uh, any URL that we want, any URL that uh, we think that uh, will success um, and our victims uh, are going to run the script. So, I'm going to use my website, crossplace, crossplace.wordpress.com. Enter. Now, as you see, so here the social engineering toolkit uh, have uh, is cloning my website uh, it has injected uh, the java applet attack into the new the newly cloned website 
and now it's ready so now uh, the next part is to decide which payload it will be used uh, there is a variety of available payloads uh, that set provides but here we have chosen uh, we're going to choose to use a simple windows shell reverse tcp um, so this is the first uh, choice here to spawn a common cell on victim and send back to attacker and this is the backdoor uh, executable uh, the backdoor executable is the best uh, this is uh, necessary uh, to decide which encoding would be used in the payload this is the encoding so and we're going to use the best which is the which is the backdoor executable to bypass every antivirus will be in or firewall will be in the victim's machine so 16 and tender and uh, the next option has to do with the port of the listener you can i'm going to press enter to choose the default 443 so enter and now as you see this is the backdoor generation to bypass as you see the antivirus this may take some a little time And now, the launch of web server that will uh, listen to our machine. As you see, moving the payload into a cloned website. And now the uh, the last settings for the exploit. The handler the handler have have has been started, and uh, our next step is now to try find a way to mask uh, our IP address in order to have uh, a domain that will look uh, original and not give uh, a naked uh, IP address that uh, will not uh, uh, that any no one can trust. Um, we can register a domain or we can use uh, any of the online shortened URL services to hide our IP when we will send uh, the link to our target. So, um, for this we are not going to use, any, use uh, something like this because we are doing it in... Uh, in the local network so let's go to the victim's, victim's machine so here we are in the victim's machine and somehow uh, the attacker managed to, to get us to uh, his uh, fake uh, and cloned website uh, as we remember he sent us an email or uh, he send this send this link to the facebook chat or anything else and uh, he managed to get us uh, go to this website so we hit enter and as a vi as the victim we see cross place uh, as it would be uh, in uh, the reality and a security warning in gross place that says do you want to run this application uh, this is the java applet so as the victim i hit uh, uh, and because i trust uh, the guy that sent me this uh, link i hit i accept the risk and i hit run and now as i see nothing happens 
uh, cross plays is exactly the same as the real one and after I hit run as you see we went automatically to the original cross plays and nothing from AVG and I am to cross plays so we have managed to get the victim into our cloned website to trick it to go to the website and now as you see we have the uh, we have captured the metro peter sessions so uh, we hit enter to start the msf handler and i want to start the session one so i hit session dash one and that's I one. Sessions. And as you see, the meta Peter has started. Uh, now we have administrator. Uh, privileges in the victim's machine uh, and as you saw no antivirus have been awakened uh, nothing from the victim's uh, uh, machine and we now have administra administrator privileges or root privileges in a Linux machine and we can do everything we can capture a screenshot from the camera, we can uh, reboot, we can change uh, uh, administrator files, we can do anything. So, just an example, sysinfo As you see, the computer, Tom PC, the OS, Windows 7 service pack 1 updated the architecture of the CPU is six, uh, 64 um, the system language is uh, Greek uh, and the metro Peter here uh, something else we can um, to see the applications get application list so as you saw another great advantage of that method is that as soon as the victim will run the infected tablet it will redirect the ori uh, to the original site website without knowing what happened so you saw how easy it was uh, to compromise the system to get administrator privileges uh, with just uh, some social engineering uh, skills uh, the difficult part in this attack was not to uh, start the handler or start the listener and uh, um, and uh, all this stuff that we do in Kali Linux but uh, to manage to get uh, the victim into this website uh, this is the hard stuff uh, now as you see uh, with uh, a comment that I typed into uh, the Metro Peter uh, it gives us every installed uh, applications in the victim's machine everything with just one comment uh, the victim doesn't have a webcam, so I'm not going to take a screenshot. Uh, another one comment is IP config. Uh, if you like this video and want to learn about uh, the Metro Peter m uh, more things, just uh, comment it down there, and I will make another video with Metro Peter comments. We can do just everything with administrator privileges, and uh, as you see uh, from another PC. Uh, everything you saw uh, is for educational purposes only, so operate carefully and in your own property. Uh, I bring no responsibility in what happens to you if you act responsibly. Uh, if you like my job, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.